it's time for another epic Frostfall reveal as we count down the days until Frostfall pre-orders open on April 5th. Let's dive in. All right, Thundercasters, it's time to get charged up here for Frostfall as we have some really awesome new Elestral cards are going to be featuring today. You already saw a handful of them like race to the top, but today we're going to be highlighting a few new Elestrals that are going to switch things up for Thunder and going to provide some really cool control aspects to the deck that I think are going to be really fun to play with. So the first one being Body Pulse, which we did reveal prior, but I wanted to recap its full effect. It is a 1-1 with an effect that says Elestrals that are not Thunder Enchanted get minus one attack for each enchanting Thunder Spirit on your field. Effects of Elestral's name Platy Pulse cannot reduce an Elestral's attack by more than negative four or minus four in this case. So if you play Platy Pulse and you pair it with a Zeus, you immediately are getting a negative four attack drop passive on anything on your opponent's field that's not enchanted with Thunder. So that's pretty serious. It can really actually disrupt your opponent's strategies. And I, I love that. And I think that we made it so it has a cap, so it's not going to be too out of control. But Platy Pulse provides some really cool kind of stat changing effects to pair with Zeus. And I think there's going to be some cool strategies around this card. So I'm excited to see Platy Pulse get some action. Plus, it's absolutely adorable. How could you not love this new Elestral? Make sure you guys show some love. Hit that like button for that. Also, we've got a new Thunder and Frost Elestral. And I told you guys that Snowato was going to have another surge target. And it is Ryseridge. Ryseridge is Ryseros Ascension. And Ryseros will be making a return in Frostfall as well. And if you guys didn't know, Ryseros was originally going to be the Thunder Spirit at one point in the Elestral's development. So it holds a, a pretty special place in my heart. But Ryseridge is so awesome, man, based on the Woolly Rhino. You can expend a Frost Spirit in order to target and special ascend your Riceros to this Riceridge from your hand. So much like Giraflora and Gigaflora, you can target your Riceros and you can play Riceridge. You can already see kind of a cool strategy with Platy Pulse and Riceros as you, you know, prevent your opponent from attacking you and drop their stats. And that's what Riceridge does as well. You, when an Elestral that's not Thunder Enchanted declares an attack, you can actually expend a Thunder to simply negate that attack. So it is a 4-6, so it's not like the craziest big body, but it can hold down the fort on the field because you basically could shut down attackers. So this may result in a prevalence of increased Thunder Spirit teching, much like casters will tech Water Spirits or Fire Spirits into their deck to handle Tsunami and Eruption, respectively. We may see some of that. I think things like Sorlet will run rampant here because they can do some really cool things uh, to Rise to Ridge, and they're already running some of those Thunder Spirits. So this will be really interesting to watch. I'm excited to see this Elestral come to play. It was an Elestral that in testing was very strong at times, and then at the times felt like it was a little too weak. So I'm curious to see how this plays out. We know Thunder's got a lot of really strong tools for searching, but it doesn't have Elestral searching. So getting that Rise Arrows is going to be a little tricky. But Rise to Ridge, if you can get it out, man, thing's going to be an absolute beast. And this is searchable with Snowato. So a lot of exciting stuff coming for Frostfall. Let me know what you guys think about these new Thunder cards. And stay tuned for tomorrow's reveal. It's only getting better.